Together then, you have left me an opening! You have left me an opening! Together then, you have left me an opening! This one is mine. Anyone that has been marked by our masters can do it. Yes, you're getting the hang of it now. It's so easy. But how did they do it? You doubt our master's power? They have erased the minds of these beasts and made them our obedient servants. With an army of these, who could defeat us? No one, of course! Now the next... The intruder is here! Beast, attack! You have left me an opening! You have left me an opening! You have left me an opening! I am ready. How may I serve? You have left me an opening! You have left me an opening! This one is mine! You have left me an opening! The honor 
is mine. My life is yours. Oh. 
Defend yourself! Together then! You have left me an opening! now you're too late we have done what needed to be done soon onderon shall fall and with it the republic shall die but what is this ah, of course the force has guided you here it echoes within you yet i sense it is untrained it is good you have sought us out this tomb is strong with the dark side here is where you will take your first steps on the path to your destiny. An adept has managed to come so far. Incredible. You have within you the potential to wield the Force. I'm not speaking of the ways of the Jedi or their flawed teachings. Their order was rooted in weakness. They would have you become a puppet of the Force. They would have you deny the strength of your emotions, the strength of your own will. Can't you feel the power of this place? It echoes through you like a second voice. Accept it. Embrace it. So you seek to save me? From what? With the dark side, there is no knowledge forbidden, no restraints. What can you possibly offer me? Can't you feel the power? Here, within the walls of this tomb. A shame. Instead of freedom and power, you have chosen death. So be it. You have left me an opening! To What you have done is beyond words. You fought like a Mandalorian. When you are finished here, I will take you back to the camp. You can let the rest of your squad know what you've discovered. After you left, your squad... Zaga said that he and your friends are making good progress through the jungle. Trust me, this is worth the wait. And here it is, a salvaged basilisk war droid. Mandalore said that he would make it available to you for insertion into the city of Aziz. 
I assure you, they won't know what hit them. The Basilisk War Droid is the epitome of weapon technology, state-of-the-art weaponry, armor, and maneuverability. Unfortunately, its weapon systems aren't fully functional yet, as are some other unimportant support systems. But she will get you to Isis in one piece. The fighters won't be able to stop that. Minor systems. Nothing you need concern yourself with. We've modified the interior to hold three people. Maybe a little tight. You need to leave immediately. Isis is in the grip of a civil war, so there'll be considerable resistance. They remember the last time Basilisk war droids visited their planet. Fight ferociously. And if you die, take as many as you can with you. Basilisk? A basilisk here? Mandalorians are attacking the city! Talia has made an alliance with the Mandalorians. Men, destroy them. What is... Something up? All right.
I recognize you. You're that off-worlder. Come, we have no time. Batlu's forces have overrun the sky ramp. The royal palace could fall any minute. We must save the queen. Your plan seems to have succeeded. Your enemy has indeed revealed himself. I anticipated the Sith, but those beasts, those beasts weren't in my battle plan. Even now, Vaklu is using them to breach the palace. I will not surrender to that usurper. I would die first. Every man here would give their life to keep that from happening. There is hope. It is faint, but growing stronger. I think my message was received. Which message? What are you talking about? An old student is returning. I don't think the Sith are going to know what hit them. This way! This way to the sky ramp! There are two force shield checkpoints along this path. Vaklu's forces have held this ramp for over a standard hour. That means they control the checkpoints now. If we can get to the turret tower up ahead, we can deactivate the first barrier. The forces we're encountering right now are their rear guard. The fighting will get tougher the closer we get to the front of the battle line. I hear you. The Royalists in the bunker are contained. We deploy as soon as the reinforcements arrive. A Jedi? Here? Men, attack! Just say the word. More where that came from. I will silence this one. Say the word. Hold your fire! They're with us. Thank you. Vaklu's supporters stormed our position. Beasts. The beasts have gone mad and attack on their command. Please, go to the palace. We received a transmission that the palace grounds have been breached. If so, they don't have much time. 
Have they changed the access codes in the turret tower? We need to get through the force shields. I don't think they've had time, sir. They've been firing the turret non-stop. Backlou's close to having air superiority now. You two, follow the Jedi. The rest of us will hold our position. We don't have much time. I hear you. Is the Jedi still... We're under attack, man! Just yes. Say the... Just say... We've taken the palace. How much longer must I wait for Talia's blood? The beast's progress is remarkable, but it will take time, General. The throne room's force shields are far stronger than normal shields. Our plans go well, Tobin, but we are still vulnerable until she is dead. Even now, it will all unravel. Redouble your efforts. There is disturbing news from the city. As you command, General. Tail Command, we need reinforcements. A Jedi Knight is assaulting our flank. Hold the line! Attack, men. Attack! Some reinforcements. Follow the Jedi. We're gonna retake the palace. We've got to stop General Vaklu before he gets to the Queen. She's still alive! Run! Run!
Hold the line. Those cowards will be dealt with. This is good. One of Aklu's slicers has control of the security grid. He blew up that power conductor. Their slicer has to be using a palace security terminal. They've already locked down all secondary computer systems on the sky ramp. Until we deal with their slicer in the palace, you can bet that there will be more surprises up ahead. The second force shield is up ahead. It looks like it's been damaged by orbital bombardment. Uh, you might be able to bash your way through it with your lightsaber. Ahead is the throne room. We must get to the Queen to protect her. If you're heading to the palace, we'll follow you there. The palace itself has been breached. We've made it to the palace. General Vaklo's troops haven't been here too long. Hopefully, we still have time to save the Queen. Straight ahead is the throne room. Vaklu's hand-picked troops will probably be here. I'm gonna stay here and keep the intersection secure. If any more royalists arrive, I'll keep them organized. Shut the outer door, now! I'm impressed you made it this far, but you're too late. Soon the Queen will be dead, and General Vaklu will be the new king. This is no ordinary door between us. The same material is used for the hull of capital class vessels. I'm afraid you will find it quite impregnable. I'm afraid it is. Now, if you'll excuse me, we have one last barrier to take care of. Gather our forces. Make sure the defenses are set. Colonel Tobin says the Jedi is coming our way. Take your beasts and attack her. We need more time to prepare. I'm going to the control room. Perhaps the captain can be persuaded to cooperate. I hear you. Go! 
I don't have time for your resistance, Captain Riken. We need the override code for the palace shields. And I told you that I don't know. You scanned my ID, you know my post is the merchant quarter. I'm sure that's what you'd like me to believe. I have been authorized to use any means at my... Blast! Defend the security room with your lives! The Jedi could ruin everything. Focus. <laughs> More where that came from. Let's settle this. More where that came from.
Just yeah. say the word. This shall not stop us for long. Salye a listo park norcha, lus ni hacha batishit jo. Ba wan maderancha, you come most cruun. Nan de mis. Bram tabanin soju. Da come just mak miki baranye to so so. Kabadumpa, mo wendido chokerembi norta kunyun. Yatuka, u wan rika chotin wanima orata wak. Bram tabanin soju. Da come just mak miki bar kabadumpa mo wendido chokerembi norta kunyun wish chawa kachuba. Kabadumpa mo wendido chokerembi norta kunyun wish chawa kachuba. Sura dachi morutuko kansa. Kavanata kalu! Kavanami donki krato. Mastanucha maznit! You again? Seems you've made a habit out of cleaning up our messes. Don't suppose you could help a fellow out here. If you've ever been in one of these, you know they aren't too comfortable. You don't need to tell me about that. Thanks for coming. Backloo's troops aren't very good hosts. If you could get me out of here, I'd be doubly thankful. Should be pretty easy to do. The primary security console for the Royal Palace is just over there. It controls the force cage. I think that slicer is still logged in, so you should have full access to everything. If you could hurry, it's been a long day. Thank you. Now that you've got me out, you need to get the primary security console's override code, then lock the terminal down. Once you've got that code, if you can get to the secondary security station, you'll control the entire palace's security systems. The slicer's still logged into his account. You should be able to just get whatever you need.
Hold him. Yes. Let's settle this. I don't know how you made it, but well done. Come in quickly before more Sith or Vaklu troops arrive. We got split off from Talia's troops by the currents of this war. We really need to talk, but Kadron and I are coordinating the defense of the war. I know Captain Kadron needs someone to handle a dangerous assignment. He's in the other room. Talk to him. No one else could do the job. This is the secondary security complex. There's a slicer at the primary who's causing trouble. Since Kadron isn't available, I've been coordinating the battles and the rest of Isis. If this war isn't stopped soon, Isis will take months to recover from the damage. We'll talk when all of this is over. Until then, may the Force be with you. So, you're the Jedi, eh? Well, the comm chatter we've intercepted is filled with reports about you. You fought right through their flank on the sky ramp? We desperately need someone like you. We've managed to hold this part of the palace, but Vaklu's forces control the rest. We need to get to the Queen before that flaming Drexel breaks through the inner door. There are two security consoles in the palace. The primary security console is on the other side of the palace. There's an expert slicer over there who's been hampering our every move. We need to transfer all primary functions to our terminal here, then disable the primary security console. That will also take their slicer out of the picture. After that, we'll control security again, and can get to General Vaklu before he gets to the Queen. You have? 
Oh, son of a mugrack! Corporal, use this code to open the outer door to the throne room. The door's open. Hurry! They might break through the inner door at any moment. Will you just die already? You will go no further than this. You're too late. Our pet beast is about to breach the force field to the throne room. The queen will be dead in moments. Watch out! I've lost control of the beast! Ignore the beast. Into the throne room. The queen must die. Oh, blast it all! Fallen. 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 Your time is at an end, Talia. Your people have abandoned you, and now your life is forfeit. You would destroy everything just for your ambition, Vatlu. The Republic, ISIS, everything. That is a gross simplification, Talia. Change is a painful process. A price must be paid. But Onderon will have a new destiny, one larger than you could imagine. You're getting careless, Vaklu. One more mistake, and you're the one who will pay the price. Damn you! Your skill with the blade won't save you from my men. Goodbye, Talia. Fire! What? The Jedi lives? But how? Kill her and the Queen Men, quickly. They must not be allowed to live.
You've won this battle, Talia. But your reign won't be an easy one. The Republic is a sinking ship, and you're too attached to it. He's too dangerous to leave alive. As distasteful as it is, it might be best to silence him forever. Until he's dead, all of Onderon is in peril. Damn you, Jedi. You have stopped a chance for a new age for this planet. In time, Onderonians will curse your name. What is done, is done. I don't think the service you have given us can ever be repaid. I must go with Captain Cadron. The fighting must be stopped. I will be back shortly to try and repay you. The crisis is over thanks to you and Master Kavar. I believe he'd like to speak to you, if you'll excuse me. Ah, oh, the wound is not a mortal one, though it has been some time since I exercised my healing powers. There is a shred of life within you still, a gift from your master, no doubt. Awaken, Colonel Tobin. Your part in this is not over. Colonel Tobin, I am with Vaklu. The war has gone against him. He sent me to rescue you, to tell you you must make haste off planet. The Jedi have struck. They had a secret academy buried on Telos, and they are showing themselves at last. We are all in danger. What? But the Jedi are gone. They have all but vanished. So we all thought, but they have hidden themselves on Telos. Out of my way, old woman. This war can still be won, and Onderon can be freed. Indeed. This war is far from over. The Queen has requested you stay here until she gets back. I imagine you'll get some sort of reward. Talk with Master Kavar. She shouldn't take too long. The Queen has requ- Talk- The Queen has requ- Talk- The Queen has requested you stay here until she- Talk with Master Kavar. I Just say you. the word. The Queen has requ- Talk with- The Force works in mysterious ways, it seems. There are times I'm not convinced it doesn't have a sense of humor. We spend all this time looking for you. And you came to us. I thought you might return to Onderon. Looks like just in time. I told the other masters that our only chance to figure out what was happening to us was to find you, and try to understand what happened to you. I don't know how much you know about this threat that's striking at the Jedi. It's attacking us through the Force. Varuk didn't believe me, but he was willing to travel to Dantooine, if only to help the settlers there, and perhaps protect what was left of the Jedi Enclave. Whatever the reason, having us all drop out of sight, I thought might make the enemy more bold. But then you happened. You came back, and you became a new target for whoever was attacking us. They were places touched by war, and we thought there was a chance you would return to these worlds, if only to try and make peace with what happened there during the war. But now the Sith have revealed themselves. That means the remaining Jedi will gather on Dantooine. From there, we can counterattack. Telos? But Telos was destroyed during the Jedi Civil War. I heard they're trying to rebuild. Atris? I thought Atris had gone to Qatar. Too many Jedi have scattered. The Council needs to gather. We cannot remain concealed any longer. We knew that someone was preying on us, hunting us. Finally, the Jedi decided to take action and called a secret conclave on Qatar to decide what must be done. Before the meeting could even begin, all the Jedi on the planet were killed, along with the Miralukas and all other life on the planet. Their deaths could be felt throughout the galaxy. So the Council decided that we must not present ourselves as a target again. The consequences to others were just too great. That we should use our resources to find who was responsible and deal with them. I think you're the only one who's made progress. The difficulties you surmounted to get here. You must have many questions. You deserve answers. I know that all too well. I came here to find them, to trace them to their source. The war on Duxon and Onderon. I had thought that perhaps the tragedies that occurred here were concealing them. 
The Jedi Order has been fighting the dark side since the beginning. Our rules and the Jedi Code provide protection from what's inside each of us. The dark side is always there, and it is something that can never truly be defeated. I feel our current troubles, though, are beyond what we faced before. This threat that is targeting us, drawing us out, it's not a battle we're used to, and it has ended many of us. Not enough. I feel it is something that was born from the wars that have struck the Republic. The threat is Sith, but the manner and timing of their attacks is difficult to defend against. We don't know all that the Sith planned during the Jedi Civil War. What secret training grounds may still remain. What worlds he discovered. We just don't know. Even after we deal with this current threat, I fear we may be dealing with the legacy of the Jedi Civil War for years to come. You've had more success than I. General Vaklu's men and their allies effectively kept me pinned inside the palace. I felt all along that Vaklu had contacted the Sith. But the identity and purpose of the Sith, uh, I can't say. They wanted to aid General Vaklu in breaking away from the Republic. If Onderon became independent, this place would be an excellent staging ground for them. But I fear it was more than that. That the consequences of Onderon's fall would have greater implications for the galaxy. Whatever I can tell you, I will. Scattered, searching for you. Going to places where they thought they might cross your path. You were our last hope. Yes. At least that's what I asked them to do. I believe you are the key to this whole war. When you stood before us in the council chamber on Coruscant, we felt something from you we'd never felt before. It was as if the Force had died within you, leaving you hollow. We had suspicions as to why this was, but nothing definite. But rather than try to understand, we sent you away. I think because at some level there was fear. We live our whole lives in touch with the Force, in touch with life all around us. And you had a gift in that regard. You formed bonds so easily, and they flowed deep between you and others. To see such emptiness in the Force standing before you, it's not an easy thing to face. Whatever is attacking us, it is leaving something in its wake. Something we haven't felt since you stood before us in judgment. The deaths of the Jedi, the destruction of Qatar, all of these things are leaving behind echoes, like the one we felt from you in the Council Chamber. It was clear to us, to me, that we had to find you, but we couldn't call you back from exile, because we didn't know where you'd gone. Plus, there was a chance we might put you in danger, and that we couldn't allow. If you couldn't feel the Force, then it would just make you a target. I don't know how you got back, but I'm glad you're here. The thing is, in traveling to these places, these places where war was fought, we felt the same thing. Echoes. Something happened in all these places, but it's hard to figure out what. It's hard to sense things through the Force in such places. Too much pain occurred here. It makes listening to the Force difficult. We resolved to meet again on Dantooine, but only when the threat revealed itself. Unfortunately, I happened to be here when it struck. Now that we've stabilized Onderon, I can join the others on Dantooine. Whatever I can tell you, I will. There was nothing else we could do. You defied the Council. You followed Revan to war. I know why you did it, but in so doing, much more harm was done. But you must understand, the Exile was never the punishment you thought it to be. We could not have made you do such a thing in any event. I think you knew, inside, what you needed to do in order to heal. All those lives during the Mandalorian Wars, and all those you served beside, too much death leaves echoes in the Force. It is the price for having such connections. I suspect that is why you chose to accept the Council's judgment, to wander beyond the Rim, and why you traveled with no one and did not stay in any place too long. I have thought of you since your trial, and there are times when I wonder if being connected to the Force is always the gift it is believed to be. Whatever I can tell you, I will. Cut you off from the Force? Why do you think the Council was responsible for that? No. I'm afraid the cause of your condition was as great a mystery to the Council as it is to you. Whatever I can tell you, I will. You always had deep connections to the Force. I'm glad to see that it is once again your ally. When I first sparred with you during your training as a Padawan, I could tell that you were different. And it wasn't just your strong connection to the Force. Whatever I can tell you, I will. 
So, you heard what we said. These questions I cannot answer. This is something the Council must answer, not I. You must understand, this is hard for me, especially after all you've done, but it is necessary. Did you know that when I was training you, I considered making you my Padawan? I didn't. The demands of the Jedi Council were too great. And you even became a Guardian. I had hoped I could train you to eventually replace me. You have such potential. So the decision that had to be made was not easy. But I cannot say anything more. Whatever I can tell you, I will. That sounds like the bond that often forms between master and apprentice. But to that degree? You always did form connections to others, strong ones, even when you were a student. But what you are describing is beyond me. I'm sure others in the Jedi Council would be able to assist you, if you could find them. Whatever I can tell you, I will. There is something I would like to teach you. It is a technique which, I believe, will aid you in the trials ahead. Never before have the Jedi been so greatly outnumbered. You will doubtless encounter many situations with multiple assailants. To defend yourself against extraordinary numbers, use the Xian form. This style will also increase your ability to deflect blaster bolts. Excellent. I'm impressed with how quickly you've mastered this form. I always knew you were gifted. I'm going to Dantooine. The Jedi Council vowed to assemble again when the Sith revealed themselves. Now that they've attacked Onderon, we can act. Our paths will cross again. May the Force be with you. I'm sorry to keep you here. I needed to thank you personally for all of your help. Onderon owes both you and Master Kavar a debt that can never truly be repaid. Battles still wage in our streets, but by morning the conflict should be over. I recognize you must leave soon, but please, take this. I had also planned on giving you some relics from Onderon's past, but Vaklu's troops looted our museum. I hope the credits and my sincere thanks are enough. Captain Bostuka has made arrangements for a shuttle to take you to your ship. I fear it will be quite some time before you can come back. The war was brief, but destructive. I will focus all of my energy on rebuilding Isis. Thank you again. I must go. If you will follow me, I will take you to your shuttle. I sense the conflict on Onderon even from this dense jungle. Did everything go as you planned? Onderon will stop bleeding for a time, but wounded things rarely stay mended for long. We should return to the Ebon Hawk now and plot our next course of action. Yes. Ask. Betrayal. And by a machine that I will not abide. Machines. 
Always did Revan use them to inflict her will on the galaxy, whether in war or in assassination. Her passion for such tools, for things dead to the Force, defies me. She would have loved a human droid such as you, dead to the Force, a shell that would carry out her orders. It is no matter. It is a device, and now it is broken. Yes? Very well. Ah, oh, I had wondered if... But your powers are strong indeed. There are places in the galaxy, strong in the Force, light, dark. They are born in places teeming with life and in places that are filled with death. Worlds whose surfaces are graveyards, whose screams echo through the Force. It is possible for war, for men to give birth to such places, to leave wounds on the galaxy itself. What you heard was the echo of the past, and it travels still. The answer will come to you in time. It must, when there is nothing more that you may learn from me. When the ruins of your past have been cleared away and I am no more, then you shall know what it is. And if you do not, then the galaxy shall die, and all my hopes for you will have been for nothing. Ask. Perhaps I think it is fair to say that few did. Revan had a mother and father, parents, ancestors, like all Jedi do, and when she awakened to her potential, I was there to see it. But where she was born, where she came from, I do not know, any more than I know where she walks now. Some said that Revan was born in the outer regions, beyond the Rim, and that's what called to her during the Mandalorian Wars. And after, it was the call of home. I know more, but it may not be enough for the answers you seek. Fall. Ah, already you presume much. You were there at Malachor. Revan's choices were always her own. It was not teaching or circumstance or example. It was her. Is that what she was? Or was she always true to herself, no matter what personality she wore? And there is something that the Council may never understand, that perhaps Revan never fell. The difference between a fall and a sacrifice is sometimes difficult, but I feel that Revan understood that difference more than anyone knew. The galaxy would have fallen if Revan had not gone to war. Perhaps she became the Dark Lord out of necessity to prevent a greater evil. I do not believe the Jedi Council changed Revan as they claimed. They merely stripped away the surface and allowed the true self to emerge again, someone who was willing to wage war to save others. But that is my belief, since I knew Revan from long ago, as a master knows their apprentice. She came to me, yes, both before and after, before Revan knew herself. And after, in the times when Revan was coming into her own and learning she was more than she had been told, at one time, Revan was my Padawan, in times past, long ago. But Revan, when she had learned all she could, had other masters, that fool Ja and other Jedi on other planets. She learned from each, but in the end, she turned back to me, when she realized there was nothing more to be learned from the Jedi, except how one could leave them forever. Revan was power. It was like staring into the heart of the Force. Even then, you could see the Jedi she would slay etched on her soul. You are different. When I look at you, it is like staring at the death of the Force. I know more, but it... Ask, and I will answer. Ignorance. And perhaps they do not remember or care. It is of no consequence to me or to them. Do not let them discover what makes you what you are before you do, or the consequences for the galaxy will be terrible. Because you learned to live without the Force, and that is something that the galaxy is not ready to accept. Ask. And? Did he? And what do you make of that? The Mandalorians were right to respect you on the field of battle. 
The Jedi are gone, vanished. Now, an entire planet of Force sensitives wiped clean of life. And now this slice of the galaxy is blind. It is no coincidence. The two events are tied. I fear you are right. And I fear it may prove more than that. War is a hunger. And there are spirits in the galaxy whose hunger is never satisfied. But there is little to be done about it now. Watch the seer carefully. She may reveal more. Ask. Yes, is something wrong? That is hard. General, what is it? Traveling with the Mandalorians, it brings back too many memories. Don't worry about me. I won't cause any problem. But if Mandalore steps out of line, I'll put him out the airlock. You're right. I'm just not used to the idea of fighting with Mandalorians. Was there something you wanted me for? Yes, ge Sorry, General. Something else? Query, is there someone? For your. I am prepared both in mind and body for your teachings. I understand now. I do not understand. I will answer what I can. The more I travel with you, the more questions I have. Duxon answered many of those questions. I learned more of myself, and the conviction that that brings. And I wish to thank you for sparing me when we first met, so that I might learn such things. I will answer what I can. My life. I am prepared for whatever you wish to teach me. I understand now. My life. I will answer... The more I travel with you, the more questions I have. I learned more of myself, and I wish to thank you for... Something up? All right.
moon. It's the gaping maw of Nal Hutta, swallowing all the cargo and spaceport thugs the galaxy has to offer. Mandalorians, mercenaries, war veterans, and pilots from the Mandalorian Wars and the Jedi Civil War ended up on Nar Shaddaa, from all sides of the conflict. When the last war ended, there was no place left for them to go. Too many Mandalorians were scattered after the war, without purpose and without direction. Most became little more than raiders. Nar Shaddaa's a rough place and easy to get lost in. Or for someone to get lost. If we wanted to keep out of sight from the Sith for a while, you couldn't pick a better spot. It means glorious jewel in Hatis, but don't let that fool you. It's the central breeding grounds of the Huts. Nar Shaddaa orbits it. Nal Hutt is as slimy as the Huts. Lots of swamp and bloated gas. It's where those slugs reach out and grab chunks of the galaxy. Trust me. We're not going to go anywhere near the place unless we want to be washing the stink out of our clothes for the next few years. It might take longer than that for some of us. You spend all day thinking up that joke? Maybe you and Beodur should start a circus. I fail to understand the reference, though I doubt your explanation would prove worthwhile. Anyone flying the Star Lanes has docked on Nar Shaddaa at least once. I wouldn't want to live there, and I doubt anyone does by choice. It won't be easy. There's so much traffic on Nar Shaddaa. Finding anyone on the moon's surface is going to be hard. We're going to touch down in the refugee sector. There's a lot more traffic there, and it's harder for people to spot you coming in. Or find you once you arrive. I've plotted a course for the refugee sector, and we should touch down within the hour. Once we're down, we should finally be able to breathe easy. There's no way anyone's going to find us here. she walks upon the smuggler's moon, she is not to be harmed. Observe her, track her, but do not eclipse her movements, or I shall eclipse yours. <coughs> you must, because one Jedi attracts others. It is the way of things. <laughs> Jita Bedwana Maticha. The Ranam of Sibu and Dasarans. Krema Sukum Ratungala. Bo Mababe want to Susin to. Request If Goto's vessel is no longer neutral ground, inform us so that we might initiate assassination protocols and commence firing at once. 
Kava dumpe masura ku? Kichu no kada mire nito. Da hupo botenya gojuj. Observation. Jedi follow the self-destructive path of pacifism and tolerance. Doveri nincha yonona shikasa chuj. Doveri nincha yonona shikasa chuj. Goli rosodish. Ranta kras mobas. Ah, the beautiful stench and decay of desperate living. This moon, it teems with life. It is difficult to center oneself. Never have I been to a place so alive with the Force, yet so dead to it. The contrast is like a blade. Welcome to Nar Shadda. Towering buildings kilometers high and miles deep, with canyons so wide you could have a dogfight in them. Word of warning, watch where you step, or you'll fall for hours. Sure, most of the landing pads around here are unclaimed, or should be. They're pretty badly maintained, so they're not safe to land on. Well, I mean, not this one. But they all have the reputation, so we should be all right. I think. Maybe a little, but landing here means we didn't have to transmit our ID signature. You know what trouble that always brings. In fact, while we're here, we should get those signatures changed. Wouldn't make us such a target when we enter a new system. All right, then, let's move out. Uh, where are we headed exactly? It does not matter where we go. If what we seek is here, we shall come upon it in due time. Uh, yeah, if you want to stay on the ship and meditate some more, don't let us stop you. There should be a central trading hub up ahead. Their stock's probably not the best, but they may have some things worthwhile. Finding a Jedi, or anyone else touched by the Force here, will be difficult. The mass of people, the rush of their emotions. It makes detection difficult. But this moon does not get any smaller while we wait. This sector is as good as any place to begin our search, so let us begin. Well, if we're gonna search a moon of a few billion inhabitants for one Jedi that even our own can't sense, might as well start as soon as possible. Alright, if you have any questions, just ask. We should be able to leave the ship here as long as we want. No one supervises these landing pads anymore. You! You there! Uh-oh. What's with you? Letting that piece of junk sink its thrust into my landing pad! The problem is, you are on my landing pad. I got another ship coming in, and unless you want that piece of junk's hull crushed flat, you better move it. Got it? That's none of your business. All you need to know is that they're gonna be firing up their quad lasers if they find your ship squatting there when they arrive. Yeah, right now all I'm hearing is talk. How much you offering? Done. Pleasure doing business with you. I got some visitors booked for your space, but I'm sure the two of you can work it out when they arrive. I hear you.
not as of yet. Finish. No, look, you can't keep us trapped in the refugee sector. We can't survive there. Focus. Let's settle this. Thanks for your help. They would have crippled me for sure. Whatever your reasons, thanks. I saw what you did to those exchange thugs, stranger. Forgive me, stranger. Thank you, stranger. Why did you do such a thing? Such kindnesses will mean nothing. His path is set. Giving him what he has not earned is like pouring sand into his hands. Very well. But mind what I have said. Use your power, but in its proper place. Directala cemente bengaru rukuto to onde chuchu amata so bengkish manetsit. Tere wana jun konata dela raguno tuna. Dairin chara nana gundoso remine akel rakto kur. Tere wana jun konata dela raguno tuna. Dairin. Tere wana jun konata dela raguno tuna. Dairin tu runto wakere kwe wap gere. Dosane grabalantro kwe wapatar. Solston's hearing's pretty sharp, if you couldn't guess from the lobes. Big ears here might know someone who can change the Ebon Hawk's ID signature. Could be useful for avoiding notice. Thank <laughs> you. 
Kraci, ubaci, kompa, dwana muska, na boska wa... Kawa dumpa, munsur. Bornaci, ninso, pomar... Ti umpe! I ciret kurangata in... Kawa dumpa, munsur, ukupla liya wa... Dorota Sinta Passa su show e Canaina Me coga rifti no so me masto Crimson chi mapo hirembi cachapas pat Toki nikama renzoni inash di John Bla when so mas Tonichi Ramagrin somos rapana Rakachon Tawanga nochi Rolven manama Kochpa ino Poso ma britush niki tuk pamba Pora kino mori Doki nikama renzo ni inash di jon bla wen somas Tonga ba Hoshmantu ni wado de kuta ma sapa Tongi wama ji Yuma di ba Malam pasta rawando krimo gawa. Jona yur toranga chiwi. Pane soko kran, jokran. Jun sobe me rapa, no kuma randisa ma. Moga chi nota harempe wana chi. Ta hupo botenyo go. Ta kam tu chis miku mogo graba. Kava dumpe masura ku, popa yi botenya, ta che morota. Kava dumpe masura ku, popa yi botenya. Kava dumpe masura ku, popa yi botenya. Ta che morota ka. Suna ranga macho chane, dota lutu. Padu krem. Donina chiwa, ko. Kava dumpe masura ku, kava dumpe masura ku, popa yi botenya. Ta che morota kamsa. Kava dumpe masura ku, popa yi botenya, ta che morota kamsa. Javas ko bo sabjo, riji so karve nokso, mochi to za sa grindeyo. Drabi nuka soba mamarma, dancha neg mamamba kanta mepalen, misuko chani ra mosaf. Kawana bota atagwa kanka di ra, yutaka alwen. Jowana masaranka ma ramazurata. Kesa ju skrita. Kava dumpe masura ku, popa yi botenya, ta che morota kamsa. Javas ko bo sabjo, riji so karve nokso, mochi to za sa grindeyo. Kava dumpe masura ku?
<laughs> Just like a Jedi. Heruta, Jin King, Nini Bobo, Nidonjo. Ichawa, the crossy wish you told us, see? A cream bachok windindo. Kawana bota, Yunta tanga, Kinamadura. Tayaita, Tabosanana. Kabadumpa Munsur Kuplali Tarak Krono King Bulotonga Chopa Chava Genrute Popo tenyo go jucho picha, gwen taba ni sochu, norotoga proto lala shishi, jula dosa jibacha, ratakman san, dokosha na chitolo. Kavadumpe masuraku, popa yi botenya, tache morota gamsa, javas gobos. Dahu popo tenyo go jucho picha, gwen taba ni sochu, norotoga proto. Thank <laughs> you. 